Alright agents, so in today's video it's going to be gameplay for the armor drain build that I did a couple days ago. Uh, it's been highly requested and I've been working on it. Um, there's a few things we need to go over before we, before we get into this gameplay. It's just going to be a compilation of a few uh, engagements I got into. Uh, the idea around this build was obviously armor depletion and regeneration and things like that. So This talent right here, obliterate. Now. I came into a lot of contact with a lot of enemies who killed me, um, who had a lot more armor than I have, and they also had uh, a certain talent called Clutch, which is right here. So they would be out healing me. Uh, I'd phase trade them, I would do a monstrous amount of damage, but because they have very high armor, and the Clutch was increasing their armor at the same time that they were critting, they were surviving a bit better than me. So if you get into a straight one-on-one -on -one, uh, confrontation with somebody and they have high, higher armor than you and using clutch, you will lose. But if you start shooting them slightly before they do, you'll always kill them because of the obliterate. So I still recommend using this, but if you're a mainly a solo player and you need that little bit extra healing rather than damage, then go for clutch rather than this. So that's after a quite a lot of testing, guys. Um, in the video, my armor was 200,000. Uh, don't worry about that. I, I haven't put my mods over yet. So um, get your armor to what the video says. It's about 200,000 armor. Don't go less than that. And yeah, so make sure you guys pop on clutch. And I someone did uh, talk about this talent right here, which is Bloodsucker. I know about this talent. Uh, it's, it's very, very good, but it is a bit difficult to run, seeing as though you need uh, seven uh, blue shield and we all know that we like to have a lot of damage so um, I would recommend rather just going for what I've told you unbreakable it just it just works really well it's 25% um, this only gives you 20% and it requires a lot more uh, armor so that's that's it from that guy so just just when you see some of this footage of me dying or things like that I, I just wanted to try and make this build a little bit better rather than just showing me showing you guys people I've killed and things like that. So those are the two things I just want to discuss. So if you guys are wanting a little bit more healing, rather run clutch. Blood sucker, I don't I didn't feel the difference. I, I'd rather use Unbreakable. You can really tell when Unbreakable procs. Um, also that being said is that if you you would have to be doing damage to uh, be receiving this as well. It's not only less, but you would have to be doing damage also. Whereas this, uh, you, if someone's, let's say, shooting you in the back, because that happens a lot in this game. If you get shot in the back, uh, you can just regenerate it. So with that being said, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this, this gameplay. Uh, it did take a while to do. I'm sorry for the wait, but it's been a busy week for me. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's have a look. All right, so this first guy, um, I think he was lagging or something. He... Um, but this is not the what I want to show you guys. So the the next person I fight, his name is Almost or something. Um, we do a straight fair uh, trade off, one v one rip. I didn't hit all my shots, but in theory I should have killed him. I didn't, and he has Berserk and Clutch. So Berserk gave him way more damage, and Clutch actually maintained his armor, whereas I ripped his armor very quickly. But because his Berserk proc, uh, my Unbreakable did sa almost save me. But the clutch was just too much with Berserk. Um, so that when you're fighting people like that, uh, it's a bit tricky. Uh, this build does counter that though, if you do if you use it correctly. Like in the next time, I fought them again. This time I killed him instantaneously. My obliterate proc, my unbreakable proc, he couldn't he couldn't handle the obliterate. When that crit damage hits, no no one can stand it. Unfortunately, the next guy killed me because in PvP nowadays you your damage it's it's not normalized bear in mind this is not normalized so it was just a good example and then i fight both of them again um this time i do win the 2v1 luckily the guy only came out afterwards the uh unbreakable procs for me perfectly saving me because this guy is very tanky very tanky but he's he doing decent damage but my unbreakable saves me uh, obliterate if i didn't have obliterate and had clutch i don't think i would have won this so this is the opposite end of the scale. Whereas this guy has clutch. But look, as soon as my obliterate proc, did you see it? He is just, he's dead. He's wrecked. So if you can get your unbreakable to proc, obliterate, you can you can kill anybody. But like in the beginning when we face traded each other, um, he just, 
he used his uh, Berserk, uh, which was unfortunate. But there's a lot of talents that can counteract different talents, guys. So it is very difficult to gauge which ones are better, which ones are worse. But I'm just going to let, let this roll and show you guys a bit of kills, some gameplays. Try to pay attention to the uh, proccing talents. That's what it's all about. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see, be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys. Yeah,